So the short of it is, you arrive to the LASIK center and you are not supposed to be wearing any scents at all. So no fragrance, fragrances, no body sprays, no cologne, no deodorant that has a fragrant attached to it, don't shampoo your hair that morning, etc. You are supposed to be fragrant free because the fragrance can mess with the laser. Then you go in, you know, you pay, you talk to the doctors and stuff about, they're like, do you have any more extra last minute questions? They go over the post-op with you beforehand um, and they give it to you written down too. So in case you forget the instructions, um, you can just read them later or have someone read them to you. But if everything goes well, you should be able to read yourself. So they do one last eye check, at least they did for me, to confirm they had everything right. So they checked my prescription a third time. Fun fact, apparently your actual prescription is not always as high as your contact prescription. I believe my actual one was negative 3.75, not negative 4.25. But anyway, they put in the little blue cap on your head and your little blue socky things on your shoes. Um, you should go in with long sleeves because it's cold in there. And you go into the room and beforehand, um, they might offer you Valium or they might give it to you. They gave it to me. I'm glad they did. I'm not sure it had an effect though, but they gave me Valium and a painkiller. You lie down on the thing and there are two machines. There's a machine that will cut the flap on your eye and there's a machine that does the laser part. You cut the flap on your eye one. It's first, basically you like lie down, it's the thing that like goes on your eye socket to cover this one. This one just goes, um, there's the suction feeling on your eye. It's uncomfortable. I don't know if I'd call it painful, but it's uncomfortable. It goes in and you really can't feel it. They put anesthetic drops in your eye before anything starts. It's really cool. But they go in and they cut the little flap or whatever and then they take it off and it goes to the next eye. And it's really fast. Um, they do stuff so that your eye stays open and so you don't have to worry about blinking at all. As they do that, you kind of black out for a second and then it comes back and everything's all blurry. It's kind of blurry, not super blurry. Once both eyes have been, have little cuts made on your cornea, um, you get this little off to the next machine. In my case, it was a in the nose. The second machine, um, again, you're just kind of looking up at this thing and here there's an orange light. You follow the orange light, I'm assuming, so that it can track your pupil. And then they tug at the cornea and it comes off. You should not feel it. Then you look and the laser starts in the and you don't really feel anything. And then um, once it's done, they put the flap back on. Your eye cries a bunch. It feels really nice because it's cool. And then they do the other eye and then done. The whole procedure can take, what, 5 to 15 minutes? Mine took 7. I think it depends on a variety of things, such as what they're doing, um, the machines, how much of a break they give you in between eyes. I got no breaks. It was just bam, 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 bam. Done. That was essentially the whole thing. No machine. Cut. Next machine. Laser. Cover. Done. Um, you get up, and the world's a bit blurry, but you can it should be clearer than it was when you lie down. So for me, it looked like it was a 1963 sort of romance movie in which everything was clear, but a little soft romantic light, everything. The post-op, you essentially just go home and you go to sleep as quickly as possible. And you sleep for as long as possible. You get up to put in eye drops that you gotta do. Eye drops become your friend after LASIK. Um, yeah, you just sleep through the first day. You don't open your eyes a whole lot. You can peek, but you usually just keep them closed. And then by the second day, um, the next day you have your follow-up and then you can use your eyes more and etc. So that's the short version. I'm going to chop this up so it's not five and a half minutes. But yes, that's the short version of it.